Hey everybody, Patton here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use cheats with your games on the mini systems. As always, the first thing you need to do is to mod your system. I will have a video showing you how to do that. It's very easy to follow in the description below. Once you have your system modded and you have the green dot in the corner, you're ready to go. We're going to show this demonstration with the Genesis Mini, but it does work the same way with the NES and SNES Classic. For cheats to work, you have to install RetroArch on your system as well as a Genesis Core. So to do that, we go to our Modules tab and to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab, select the version of RetroArch you want, either Extreme or Ozone. Click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab. I'm going to scroll down till we get to the Sega systems. I prefer Genesis Extreme GX. I'm going to highlight that. Once again, Download Module. We have one more place to go in the Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD Cheats tab. And you can see here, KMFD Manic has loaded up the hub with a bunch of cheats for a bunch of different systems. Since we're playing around with Genesis games, we're going to do the RA Cheats MD. Once again, download module. You can now close the mod hub. Go back into your modules tab and install extra modules. You can see the three modules we downloaded over here. Put a check mark next to all three and click OK at the bottom. If you have any issues getting any of this to work, you can go to the Help tab in Hatchy CE and head to the Rockin' the Classics Discord or subreddit for help. I'm going to add one game to our system, Batman Returns. Just drag it right into Hackchi. And you can see the box art and the spine, description, all added automatically. Click the Synchronize Selected Games with Mini button at the bottom. Once again, click OK. I'm going to head over to the Genesis Mini and take a look at some cheats. Here's a neat trick I learned with the Genesis Mini. When you select a game, you can choose whether you want the game to start with M2 Engage, which is the emulator native to the Genesis Mini, or with RetroArch, depending on which button you hit here at this screen. If you hit Start at this screen, it'll start with RetroArch. So since we're running cheats, we're going to hit Start to go into RetroArch. The first thing I recommend when you're using the Sega Genesis Mini is to change the button combination to get into RetroArch. As it is right now, you have to hit Start and Select to get into that menu. We don't have a Start and Select button on the Sega Genesis controller. On your Sega Genesis Mini, hit the Reset button. From the RetroArch menu, we're going to go back one screen by hitting B. Go over to Settings and down to Input. Scroll down until you see the Hotkeys option. And you see the second option here is Menu Toggle Controller Combo, currently set to Start and Select. If you hit C here, you'll have your options. I prefer the hold start for two seconds option since we have that button on the controller. Now it's selected, we're going to hit B to go back to our menu and go back into the quick menu. Near the bottom of this menu, you see we have a cheats option. Go to the second option here that says load cheat file replace. Go to the MD folder. And now you have a list of Genesis games with a bunch of cheats. I'm going to scroll down until we get to Batman Returns. Here we go. I'm going to hit C to select these cheats. And now when we go down, we have a list of cheats we can use with this game. Like Invincibility, although you can still die if you fall. Hit C to go into that cheat option. Go down to Enabled. Change it from Off to On. Finally, make sure you hit Apply Changes to apply the cheats or they won't work. Now you can back out of this menu once. Go back up to Resume. Let's see how these cheats work. We're not going to lose any time soon with these cheats. So that trick I showed you earlier where you can select the game either with the C button or Start also works on the games included on the system. Let's take a look at what cheats we have for Altered Beast. Once again, go down to Cheats, Load Cheat File, MD, scroll down. Here we go. We're going to select this cheat file. Let's see what we got for here. Do we have another invincibility? Can't be hurt. There we go. Turn it on. Apply changes. Let's get back into our game. I'm going to rise from our grave. Let's take a look. I appear to be taking no damage. 
And there you have it. Once again, if you're having any troubles with this or you have any questions, feel free to go to the Rock and the Classics Discord and subreddit. Somebody can give you some help there. And that's all I have for you this time. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.